Oh boy, I'm getting got by the random boom of fighting game news and information. Oh my god. And I'm saying that because I was literally editing and putting the finishing touches on my Street Fighter 6 video where I'm talking about all of my biggest takeaways from the recent news that we've gotten. It's late also, not just because news kept popping out about Street Fighter 6, but I've also been a bit under the weather for the past week or so. I'm doing better now, but still. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying this. Those of you that have been following me should know that I'm kind of used to having to drop multiple videos or working on multiple videos at one time. That's kind of my job now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God. And speaking of, the announcement for the open beta, the third beta for Street Fighter 6, that news also dropped while I was editing this video. This is why I'm tripping so hard. <laughs> Oh man, but hey, the more fighting game news, the merrier, right? And I'm coming up in here with all the good vibes I can because I already know how polarizing this character is. The last time I talked about Sylvie, I think I said this before, I'm tired of talking about the discourse surrounding this character. I'm tired of it, okay? I just want to watch and have my final judgment about this character. Anybody talking about freaking wasted slots, blah, 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 whatever. Get mad, be mad, stay mad. I will say this also though, so much for me to talk about in the beginning of this. I am anticipating something really good because I actually informed Onyx that this trailer came out and from what I heard, he seemed very pleased with what he saw. So let me shut my mouth because I've been jabbering like I usually do. Before we go on, thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're in good health and all that. Let's go. This freaking baby metal Kiati Pamiyu Pamiyu freaking crossover, man. <laughs> And that's not a dig. I like both of those. I like that band and I like Kiati Pamu Pamu. What the? I have never looked into like a lot of Sylvie's like catchphrases or whatnot. So that's kind of like... <laughs> It was kind of amusing and like the last time we saw Sylvie like wasn't she about to start like her foray into pro wrestling? And I'm saying that, like, is she doing, like, the Mr. Kennedy thing? Like, is she doing the self-announced freaking wrestler gimmick? <laughs> that why she got the bullhorn now? <laughs> this freaking character, man. Push! Push! And the fact she's pushing maximum bonus points. Uh-oh. I mean, he is a booker now. What's he gonna say to that? I figured they were gonna cut that off right there because I was wondering what he would say to that. I feel like Antonov would be a sucker for that. It's like, <laughs> freaking Antonov, man, you gotta love the guy. Oh, and there's this freaking classic costume right here. Yeah, freaking Sylvia. Let me shut up, I ain't talking about those fools this time. I like the new drip better though, still. New drip is better. Oh, what the, f what the heck? <laughs> oh my god i will say this the effects on her attacks are looking really good i will say that goodness gracious what the <laughs> i can't believe you showed up without telling me and me on <laughs> what were they dating <laughs> By the way, Mion was my favorite member of the official invitation team. So, I still don't think she's going to be in KOF 15, though. Like, I'll be shocked if she is. Because clearly Kukri and Sylvie were the two more popular characters there. Kukri had more of the story to tell, and he was a key character. And Sylvie, of course, is like the last remnant of one of the most decorated factions in freaking KOF history. So, again, if Mion, like, doesn't pop up, I'll be sad, but I'm not surprised. It doesn't seem like Mion had really that much of a story to tell afterwards. But yeah, like, <laughs> can't believe you showed up without telling me. Like, y'all dating or something? Breaking all kinds of friendship laws right now. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I like that. OTGs. I'm already frightened to fight this freaking character, man. This mess is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my god, man, this is ridiculous. Ripper dance on him. 
Oh, there it is. Hmm. Uh oh, here we go. This song too, man. It's just not me and my IBs anymore. Mm -hmm. Friendship Cannon Activate! I always love how that move looks. <laughs> oh, man. What we got? Ah, caught her. Mm, mm. Oh, Climax. Uh-oh! Oh, Ooh, it's a new one! Maximum Sylvie? Ooh! Pretty damn good. No wonder. Okay. Because I know one thing Onyx wanted for Sylvie was he wanted a different climax. I didn't mind the KOF 14 climax. In fact, even when KOF 14 came out and everybody was so critical of the graphics, and then even when they touched it up, like that climax looked good before the touch up and it looked good after the touch up. But was that right there probably better than that one? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, that was a nice upgrade. Like, nice to see a lot of new characters actually getting some upgrades when it comes to their moveset. Hmm. Got, a. Uh, ah, never mind. I was hoping we get some more news. May 16th? Okay, a couple things. First of all, May 16th, so at least from the time I'm recording, another freaking eight days. Not bad. Two, the music that played when they revealed that. It's almost like SNK knows how people feel about this outfit. <laughs> like, just listen to this again. <laughs> Oh, snap! Well then. All right, Onyx. I know he's gonna watch this video. I see why he was so happy, because, <laughs> again, her attacks look really good. I mean, I wasn't really that critical of her old outfit. I mean, I didn't mind it. Like, once, maybe it's because, again, I knew who Kyari Pamiyu Pamiyu was way before freaking KOF 14 came out. So, I mean, I got the reference, you know? So, I mean, and I know sometimes, like I said, you can tell somebody, you know, what the reference to something is, but that doesn't mean they'll like it. But I guess for me, it's not like it's something that was just thrown together just for the hell of it, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I still like the newer drip better all across the board. And that's only because I'm more of a sucker for like darker, gothy type of designs or whatnot. Yeah. Sylvie did not disappoint me. It's just <laughs> the only thing I'm going to hate is fighting this character because, again, I feel like this is going to be. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. This seems like a troll character, man. <laughs> and I don't mean that, like, in a horrible way. Like, there are certain characters in fighting games, they are built to troll you, you know? And. <laughs> oh my god and credit to them like maybe it's because it's been a minute but like i was hoping we would get like some more news about something else or whatnot but i suppose we will not know the identity of the later characters in this season of kof 15 i guess until naj comes out which that right there seeing the upgrades that sylvie got i can't wait for that i cannot wait to see what naj has but yo Happy for the Sylvie fans. Like I said, I am not what you would call a Sylvie fan, but I don't hate this character either. I don't think she needs to stay as far away from a KOF game as possible. Like, like even if I really didn't even give two hoots about this character, which I can't say, I mean, I'm definitely gonna like buy her and try her out and everything because she does look like fun. But even if this was a character that I don't even care about, I'm not gonna sit over here and be all like, hey, yeah, it's a freaking waste of slime. Hey, man, get this kawaii crap out of my KOF. Hey. Like, no. <laughs> Like, honestly, if Maxima was freaking DLC, man, all I would be saying is, well, that's an extra five, six, seven, eight dollars in my pocket. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, she's looking crazy and whew. oh my God. I'm just, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not ready.
ready. I'm not ready to fight against the Sylvies, but I know I got a lot of Sylvie fans that follow me. What do you all think? Are you happy with Sylvie after seeing her in action? Are you not? Let me know in the comments. Now I get back to my editing. <laughs> I gotta edit this too. <laughs> Thanks for the surprise, SK. I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all take care of yourselves. Be safe out there. Be cool to each other. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. All that good stuff. <sighs> I'm so tired. I forgot my outro. What is it again? See ya. There we go.